Hello, I'm Betsy and I'm 73 years old. Betsy, what makes you smile? Getting up every day and having a place to go with people who are great to work with, having good friends, um, having a family that I love um, and have them nearby. I've had a career that I loved. There isn't a whole lot that doesn't make me smile. What is the most interesting fact about you? People are always surprised that I'm a pilot. Um, I no longer fly because my husband was my mechanic and I don't trust anyone else. So since he's been gone, that kind of ended my flying. But it was something I did sort of on a whim. And that's how I met him, was at an airport. So it really was a turning point in my life, accidentally. Have you ever seen or experienced something that you could consider supernatural? Actually, I have. Uh, kind of an odd situation. My, I had a younger sister who passed away in 2001. The day, morning after her death, um, they lived on a lake up in Wisconsin, and I stepped out on the porch that morning, and it was absolutely calm. There wasn't a ripple on the lake, there wasn't a leaf moving, and there was a set of wind chimes on the porch and those chimes rang once. And all I could think of was it was my sister telling me that it was okay that she was out of, out of her misery and her suffering. Who is the person that has influenced your life the most? Probably my husband. We were together almost 45 years. He was my best friend. He was funny, he was um, supportive, he was always kind to me. He always had a kind word to say. But I would find little notes, he would leave me notes around the house. And even today, two days ago, I opened up a book or something with papers in it. I was shredding some stuff and there was an, a note from him. Um, and it was just, you know, thinking of you today kind of thing. And um, I still treasure those. I have a little pile of them at home. Can you tell us about a specific moment in your life where you felt loved? My mother passed away one spring and I I came home and there was a bouquet of roses on the table when I came in. There were 11 roses in the bouquet. I thought, that's odd. You know, they shorted him a rose. And he happened to walk in at that moment and kind of gave me a hug and, and he said, um, you're the 12th rose. And he gave me a little rose pendant and he said, you know, and hugged me and just held me because he knew how much I was hurting with the loss of my mother. That is literally the reason we ask that question, is because of stories like that, because that is awesome. Mm -hmm. You're the 12th rose. <laughs> That's so cool. In your opinion, what is the meaning of this life? A life lived well is all you can hope for. To not hurt others, do as much as you can to ease the path for other people, to bring your children up, to be good citizens and to not hurt other people. The whole bullying thing with children these days, the opportunity that they have with communications these days, the internet and Facebook and Twitter and all the opportunities they have to anonymously hurt someone else. The hate that comes out on those venues disturbs me. And I would hope that my grandchildren will not be party to that kind of behavior. What can we personally do on an individual basis to reduce prejudice and hatred in the world? Get to know somebody. Don't assume because of the color of their skin or the religion that they have that that makes them who they are. It's not. They're individual human beings. And I know sometimes it's difficult to get past those barriers, but we all have to make an effort. If you could share some words of wisdom with every young person on the planet, what would you say to them? Don't be afraid to stand up for yourself and stand up for what you believe in. I guess if I have a regret, it's maybe that I wasn't more willing to stand up. Jesus Christ, for instance, stood up against you know, thousands of people who said, you know, we don't believe you, and yet he never wavered. I'm sure we all face opportunities in our life where we need to stand up for somebody or something. I guess I would encourage people to do that, young people to do that.